I did, yes. Okay. So, you know, all of my staff, um, we are excited to get the vaccine. You know, um, we are in the COVID unit, so therefore, you know, my team will be getting first chances to get the vaccine. And I know that um, it's really, I'm sorry, I'm feeling really dizzy. Oh, I'm sorry. Where, what part, what unit do you work in? Yeah. It's Tiffany Dover, T-I-F-F-A-N-Y, D-O-V-E-R. What unit do you work in? CCU. So I guess just talk to us a little bit about what just happened after passing out after Tiffany. Okay, so I had a syncable episode. Um, I have a history of having an overactive um, vagal response. And so with that, um, if I have pain from anything, hangnail or if I stub my toe, I can just pass out. So um, what happened is I started getting, I get an aura before of feeling weak, dizzy, disoriented, um, and it just you know hit me all of a sudden. Um, just felt really diaphoretic and I could feel it coming on, so I felt a little disoriented, but I feel fine now. And the pain in my arm is very minimal, actually, but it doesn't take much, so. So you feel fine now? I feel fine now. And this is, you know, I have passed out probably six times in the past six weeks. You know, I, it's common for me. Okay. Yeah. No regret taking the vaccine? No, no. I mean, like I said, a hangnail can cause me to have this. So this is common? It is for, for me, purposes. yes. Okay. Yes. Um, typically, like I said, I can feel it coming on, and I could, but I was trying to push through, but, if, you know. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for well, yeah, thank you yeah. so much. I appreciate it. Yep. Around to be monitored for a few minutes. One of those is in case you have an allergic reaction that's exceptionally rare with any vaccine, mm -hmm. but theoretically possible, so we recommend being on the safe side with that. If people have a, a, a history of having hypersensitivity reactions, not of an allergic nature, but getting nervous or, uh, or getting a little bit lightheaded after a painful stimulus, sometimes just sitting down for 10 minutes before getting back up is, is advisable and uh, uh, can prevent this kind of thing from happening. Because translating the blood pressure can just lower a little bit, basically just from an increased vagal tone to the, to the nervous system. So what do you think was the case here? Uh, I think that she uh, got a shot in the arm and made her feel a little bit lightheaded, and uh, she's recovered now. It's happened before, apparently. Okay, so this, this is normal behavior for this person? It, it, is, it is a uh, a reaction that can happen very frequently with, with any vaccine, with a shot of any kind. There's no reason to be concerned mm -hmm. with the vaccine. Kind of like if you've been uh, if you've been to the doctor and had blood work done before, some people get a little lightheaded when they yeah. see the needle going into their skin. This is the identical kind of reaction. Yeah, no reason to suspect that that's due to the vaccine whatsoever. But if you're afraid of needles or have a history of uh, getting a little bit worked up or, or sensitive around needles, take a minute afterwards and catch your breath. All right. If that did happen to somebody, like, what's the, the protocol? Like, if you are getting lightheaded, what do you do? Like, sit down, mm -hmm. put your... Sit down, have somebody fan you a little bit, take a drink of water. Uh, for people who have uh, diabetes and are on uh, insulin or have a, a predisposition to getting low blood sugar, um, having a little bit of glucose in the form of a, a cookie or a cracker or something can help too because sometimes hypoglycemia can, can present this way as well. But 
just sitting down and taking a minute before going about your day. Wow. Wow, did y'all see that? I just called the hospital where Tiffany Dover works at and they hung up on me. I'm calling the fucking hospital and they can't even pick up the phone. Well, earlier I just uh, called them and I'm trying to get information on Tiffany Dover and they're not trying to give it to me. They talking about look at her Facebook page. I mean, look at the CHI <laughs> Facebook page. <laughs> Hey, yo, this shit, yo, you can't make this shit up, yo. All right, this is the second attempt. I'm going to try calling this uh, this hospital with, a, with another phone number. Let's go ahead. Let's do it. Hi, is this the CHI Memorial Hospital? It is. Hi, um, I'm calling in reference to Tiffany Dover. Is she working today? I'm the operator, sir. I don't know if you're the employees working today. What is it concerning? You're the operator. Mm-hmm. Is there a way you could connect me to somebody who's you, the, this is the operator. I, I, I thought this is the hospital. I'm the operator that answers for the hospital. Well, can I speak to a uh, like a doctor or a nurse? No, sir. Sir, they're all busy. I'll transfer you to someone that might be able to help you. Hold on. Thirty. Giving me the run around. Ain't nobody ain't about to answer this phone, man. Like, this shit crazy. This shit is a fucking joke. What the fuck? How many times this phone gonna ring? How they busy? Like, oh nah, I don't believe this shit. I don't believe the hospitals are packed. I don't believe what they selling me. This whole COVID shit is nonsense. The hospitals are empty. Nobody going to the hospital. What the hell's taking so long? Oh no, nah. I'm about to call again. <laughs> call again. Fuck that shit. Speaker. He's on the wrong speaker. Incoming lines are busy at the moment, but if you would like to hold, the first available operator will be with you just as soon as possible. First available Thank you. operator. Hundred affiliated physicians providing health care throughout Southeast Tennessee and North Georgia. To learn more, visit memorial.org. CHI 
Sunshine Memorial's heart and lung rehabilitation. Let's try again. Memorial Hospital. Hi, uh, you, I, I think you uh transferred me to the wrong line, like because they wasn't picking up. I'm sorry, sir. There's no information anyone can give you about Tiffany Dover, sir. What do you, what do you mean by that? Like, I, I just want to know if she's like there. Is she there? Cause she works at the hospital. She's an employee here at the hospital. Yes, she is. So can I speak to her? Sir, she has, she's with patients. This is a hospital. Why don't y'all leave this girl alone? She's working. And you, we have you... no other comment to say. You just go to our Facebook page and read what's on it, please. Why are you, Thank get, you. Why are you getting so? Why are you getting so angry? <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, this is crazy. <laughs> hey yo, y'all, you see that here, yo? This is crazy. Like, My gonna be like what? Yeah, like that's why I call from a different number. Like, it's crazy, yo. They not answering my phone calls, and I try like they yet. Oh my goodness, this is out of hand. Knew what she was talking about from the job. Yeah, she already so knew. She, she jumped right to that blank. Yup. Yup, they probably getting harassed all day mm-hmm. about this. Just leave that leave. Girl alone. she know what you was Yeah, like, how how did they know? They said leave the girl alone. <laughs> I just want to, we just want to get confirmation that she's okay. You know what I'm saying? She took the vaccine. Is she okay? If she's not okay, if she's dead, let us know. That's all we want to know. So, that, that, that... I won't be able to take this vaccine if she's dead because I don't want to die, okay? I want to live a long life. February 13th, 2022, and this video is called Where in Heaven or on Earth is Tiffany Pontes Dover? Now, this video is very bizarre, and I'm just going to go over some strange stuff that happened to this girl that took the uh the vaccine now they actually did a, a fact check on this and it's about a nurse who fainted after the covid-19 vaccination that she's alive and well is what they say so they actually did a whole story this is USA today so think about that and this was of December 23rd 2020 so it states that this manager, a nurse manager at Catholic Health Initiatives Memorial Hospital in Chattanooga, Tennessee, she ended up fainting after she received the COVID-19 shot. Mid three, midway through the television interview, she passed out. Now, there's, there's a lot of people that are worried that something happened to her and that there's a cover-up either way. So they're saying that after they interviewed her, she had underlying health conditions, and that's why she fainted. Now, some say that she passed away after that. Now, uh, let's go down to this over here. It says that the uh, this is there's very a strange anomalies happening with this case. Also, that this is a tweet that the hospital tweeted out on December 17 on December 19th that she's alive and well. Now watch what happens when you go to it. It's missing. Now over here, the hospital shared a video of her fr- of I'll show this while well, you've seen it already that that um they're showing that uh the nurses um they support Tiffany, and they held the, the those signs up on that stairway case. Now, based on their facts, they say that the claim is false that she had passed away. 
but check out this uh now it states that the shot that she took was the Pfizer BioNTech injection now here is her Instagram page now if you look at her posts here's the last one it's dated uh, February 26, 2021 now someone's probably posting these pictures which is pretty sick if that's true Now, if you go to the videos, this video is from December 12th, the week that she had gotten the shot. That's her last video post. Now, I'm thinking videos are probably a little bit harder to repost. Here's one of her walking with her daughter, and that's November 14th. Now, this is where her videos end. But if you look at her posts, they got one that is dated from February 25th, 2021. Okay, so that's a year ago. Okay, so this is uh, February of 2021 she got the shot in in 2020 so I have a feeling someone is posting this stuff now there's actually a a, there's a, a web page here hospital goes quiet after deleting tweets Featuring the nurse who passed out. And these are. Here are the tweets that they. Ended up posting. But they're gone now. These three tweets. It's nurse Tiffany. Appreciates the concern shown for her. She's home and doing well. Asking for privacy. This was on December 19th 2020. They're pleased to share that she's doing well. December 22nd, 2020. They actually have a website dedicated to whereistiffanydover.com. And there it is. Asking a lot of questions. This is strange in itself. This is her YouTube page. And I think this is the true one. Because I'm going to show you something that looks a little shady. This was started six years ago. But what's weird is there's only one video from six years ago. But I found this person that did their own video on whether she's uh, alive or dead. And if you look over here... That's the same Tiffany Dover. There's one video. But they're trying to show here this Tiffany Dover YouTube channel with 11 videos. And check this out what he found. He said it was very strange because this this YouTube channel came up when he made this two days ago after he made this video or before he made it. And look at all these videos that they have on it which this video channel does not exist anymore because I searched, I googled this YouTube channel and I couldn't find it, so I think they scrubbed it. But if you look, what he was questioning is whoever put this up there, look at all these hashtags. COVID-19, COVID vaccine, Tiffany Dover. Like any other person would not be putting all these hashtags up there. So whoever did this, they put these hashtags. So if you looked for it, it, you would find this channel instead of her old one, which has only got one video on it. So why would someone have a YouTube channel 
for six years and have one video. This actually has 44,000 views on it six years ago. Um, it's hard to believe that she didn't make any other videos except that one. This is strange. This is actually the the hospital's website. And she got the shot on the 17. And if you look, it looks like all the posts are pretty normal. December 16th, 2021. December 16th, 2021. December 17th. That's the day that she had it. There's the 17th. There's the 17th. There's the 18th. I think they did post the the uh, video of her, but I think they deleted it. But this is interesting. On that same day, now someone puts a message, where's Tiffany Dover? They respond, she's at work. Is that creepy or what? It's very creepy. And... If you go up to the top here, here is, right here, isn't this weird? Now here is, it looks like the rest of the nurses that are like supporting this girl that won this a Daisy Award. But if you look at the nurses at the hospital, I don't think any of them look like Tiffany, or she would be in this picture. Isn't that kind of strange? Okay. Now here is actually her Facebook page. What I think is wild is she has no... The, the last post is December 11th. 2020 and she was very active on all this stuff posting 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 like anybody else would do on their facebook page pictures of her family but isn't that kind of bizarre that the last one is december 11th 2020 and look at everybody saying rest in peace. This is very bizarre. Now, I found this interesting. I think this is where she lives. She lived in DeKalb County. This is the pro property appraisal and tax payments. So if you look at this, this is where she lived. Higdon, Alabama. And if you go down here... It shows when they bought the house. There's Tiffany Pontes Dover, married to Dustin. They bought it in 2013. And every year, this is kind of strange too. It goes 2020, but then it goes 2021, 21, 21. It's like a repeat over here. But they did pay in 2021, right? But check this out. There's a new owner. This uh, Odell Devin Lavoie. That means their house has been sold. That's the owner right there. So they don't live there anymore. And I'm going to finish with this. Is someone actually did this We Remember by Ancestry. And they're saying, which I don't it's impossible because I think she got the shot on the 17th. They're saying that she died on December 15th, 2020 in Tennessee. But this is Ancestry. Maybe anybody could put an entry in there. So someone obviously did this. But I don't know. This just seems very bizarre. And I think it's a cover up. You can go either way. She's trying to hang low. And I uh, uh, just want to be out of the spotlight. But with all these. Um, all this. Uh, right here. What's the big deal? For her just to come clean and speak up and say she's alive. Why keep the mystery? It's not fair to all the others who took the shot. This is just so bizarre. I just don't see that she is uh, just hanging low and want to be out of the spotlight. Because if there's so much interest in her, she would just come out 
and say, hey, I am alive, here I am, and uh, not be so mysterious about it. And there's a lot of deletions from the the hospital. So something I think is going on and some major news organization needs to do an investigation and not to say, hey, she she died from the vaccine or she didn't or or from the side effects or from COVID or whatever. We, we need to know what happened to her just because uh, if they are covering up, that's not fair either. It's just the truth is what we want. The truth, what happened to Tiffany whether she's in heaven or on earth. Picture of their family. There's Dustin. Here's Tiffany. And it's their son and their daughter, uh, Natalie. She's tagged, Natalie. Now, if you go to Dustin's page, he lives in Higdon, Alabama. There's a picture of the family, the kids. There's uh, Tiffany. There's Dustin, right? But if you go to his front page here, he says he's single. And his last post would be 2019, so he's not posting anymore either. And family relationships, no family members to show. So there's something fishy going on here. I don't know what it is, but nothing adds up. Now, I was doing a little digging. Now, remember, she got this shot in December of 2020. Look what I found out. I wanted to look her name up in this LinkedIn. I went in and tried to to uh, search the employee list of the uh, the CHI Memorial Hospital. And I also tried to uh, search critical care registered nurses at the hospital. And you need to buy like a subscription to find the whole list, which I'm not going to do. But I find this very interesting that this Cole Taylor, he's a critical care registered nurse at the hospital. Now look at when he got hired, December of 2020. It was the same month that Tiffany got the shot. And he is still presently uh, working there. That was one year and three months ago that he got hired. Now, isn't that a coincidence that there is a critical care registered nurse, which what? What unit do you work in? Uh, CCU. Tiffany says that she was being hired the same exact month that she got the shot. So who knows what's up, but I find this very interesting. Today is June 30th, 2021, and I'm going to call uh, C CHI Memorial again and see if Tiffany Dover still works there or is still alive. CHI Memorial, may I help you? Hi, how are you doing? Um, can I get to uh, CCU, please? Thank you. Best approach. Help me. Hi, how you doing? Is uh, Tim, uh, Nurse Dover available? Uh, I'm sorry, who are you looking for? Tiffany Dover. Tiffany, hold on just a second. Okay. Just happened during the week. That's why CHI Memorial Family Practice Associates Udawa offers extended hours and weekend appointments to better serve you and your family. Office hours are Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. And Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Call 423-495-5951 to schedule your appointment. At CHI Memorial's Cancer Risk and Survivorship Program, we offer cancer risk counseling to help people understand better how their family history of cancer might affect their individual risk of developing cancer. Specially trained staff will assist you in finding accurate information about your cancer risk 
and answer your questions. This service is offered through the CHI Memorial Race Killer Cancer Institute. For more information about CHI Memorial's Cancer Risk and Survivorship Program, 23495. Yeah, I got disconnected. I was trying to get in touch with CCU. Alright. Uh, From first between the in between, CHI Memorial Pediatric Diagnostic Associates offers care for infants through young adults up to 21 years of age. Call huh? Hi, um, I'm trying to get in touch with Tiffany Dover. Mm-hmm. 